Good evening. At the turn of the millennium, Indian cricket was, was indeed a powerhouse at home. But every time we traveled overseas, and I will give you some stats, 92 South Africa, 1-0, 96 England, once again we lost, 97 West Indies, chasing 120, 81 all out, 99 Australia, 3-0. Suddenly, suddenly, at the turn of the millennium, something happened. 2002 England, 1-1 with a win at Headingley, 2003 Australia. A win, scoring 600 in the first innings. A win at Adelaide. 2004, Pakistan, beating Pakistan in Pakistan. The man responsible. Put your hands together for Saurav Ganguly. You know, I was thinking, what's the chord? What's the chord that connects all my speakers? And if you actually go back to that test match that we won at Lords in 2014, we would not have won it had it not been for a hundred that still stands as one of the best hundreds scored by an Indian batsman in recent times. And he did it again. Did it again some months later in Australia and did it again a month back at Johannesburg. That innings on that nasty wicket plays always the best in tough overseas conditions. Vice captain of the Indian national team, Ajinkya Rahane. And my third cricketer on the panel, just about a month back in that World Cup in New Zealand, leading a team once again away from home, leading the under-19 team, sensation of sorts, scored huge amount of runs in domestic cricket. Question was, can he lead the team to success overseas? And it was a demolition act. Australia beaten by 100 plus. All matches won by over 100 runs. Leading that team today at the India Today Conclave. Put your hands together for Prithvi Shaw. And my final panelist. Three things stand out for the BCCI, apart from the performances of the Indian cricket team in 2017. Three straight deals, 1,000 crores for the jersey. And finally, 16,347.5 crores for the IPL telecast rights. Multi-fold increase. The BCCI, one of the richest, if not the richest, cricket board. For sure the richest cricket board in the world. And one of the richest sporting bodies in the world. The man who runs it. Critical questions will be asked of Rahul Jory, CEO of the BCCI. Sort of, I'll start with you. You know, the, the actual common chord, the, the, what I said, was or is overseas. When you took over, can you tell my audience what it was like? Yes, we did well at home. We won a lot of series in the 1990s. But overseas, something happened to the team. What did you do? What did you do to transform that mentality and that run between 2000 and 2005? Firstly, thank you for having me here uh, this evening. Uh, you know, to be precise, uh, I think it's a, it's a matter of confidence. Uh, we were a different side at home and, and different side when we traveled. Uh, I realized that when we came in 1996, when I played my first test at Lords and was fortunate enough to get to back-to-back hundreds, I realized that, you know, when you entered the dressing room, you had so much talent. You know, when you looked around, you had Sachin, you had Azar, you had Sanjay Manjarekar, and it was a side full of talent, but somehow this side did not know how to win test matches. Uh, for me, it was a change of culture. For me, it was a change of fitness. I asked the first thing to Ajinke when I met him just now. I said, you know, what's the difference? He said, the boys are very fit. And I think that's very, very important in a cricket culture. Uh, getting in fast bowlers. You see, you see the fast bowling unit now. Uh, at that time when I came in, we went to England with four spinners. And we were going in the month of May, which was absolutely cold and freezing. And, and to play in England in a, in a test match in Edgbaston, the first test, with two fast bowlers and three spinners was an absolute suicide. So and the culture had to change, the way of thinking had to change. Uh, we still believe that, you know, in, like the errors of uh, Bishan Singh Bedi and Prasanna and Chandra Shekhar, we could still win in away conditions with spinners. Uh, you lost the toss on day one of a test match, which Ajinkya will understand what I'm saying. Uh, and if, you, if your fast bowlers get past those 10 overs, you're struggling. So the entire culture had to change, the mindset had to change, the way we played test cricket had to change, and we needed to get fit. 
because we needed the fast bowlers to get wickets. Indian cricket always had batting. You know, you look at the generations. You know, before me, there was Gavaskar, Mohinder, uh, you know, you name Vishwanath. During our era, I was fortunate enough to lead some champions. You know, Sachin, Rahul, VVS, Ajinkya's era, Virat, Ajinkya himself. You know, you look at Murli Vijay, you look at Shekhar Dhawan. You know, outstanding cricketers in all formats of the game. So, India always had the batting. But the difference what they made overseas was the fitness culture and the way the fast bowlers bowled. What, what is important from what Saurav said is it happened. And it happened and between 2002, 2001 to 2005, we did not lose a single series overseas. That's why Saurav Ganguly will arguably still be the best Indian captain in that format. Before I go to Ajinkya and Prithvi, I'll come to you, Rahul. We take so much pride in winning overseas because that's the real test. Now, we all know, I don't want to sort of harp over, over and over again. Our team goes to South Africa on the 27th of December, plays the first test match on the 5th of January. Is that preparation enough? One. Second, now we know from what we've seen with the performances of Ajinkya and his team, 5-1 in the one days, 2-1 in the T20s. This team had the potential of winning the test series if they had a few more days in South Africa. Maybe. Is the BCCI going to address this problem? Are you thinking about this problem and you think this is something we have to solve and solve immediately? Well, you know, we, uh, what we, our intent is to provide the Indian cricket team the best infrastructure, the best support that is possible. And based on the feedback that we've got from the team management, we've had some real serious discussions with them. What uh, we are now doing is, you see, in the summer, India is going to England. Before the first test match actually starts, India would have been in England for over a month, and the team would be really acclimatized. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, they'll play the short form first and then come to the test cricket. In the next winter, India is in Australia. And again, what we have agreed with the Australian cricket board, with Cricket Australia, is the Indian team will first play its short form and then come to the long form cricket. So again, the team would be really, uh, you know, used to the conditions over there before they actually go into the serious test cricket. This, what we've done is, you know, uh, there is a four-year FTP cycle that we follow. And these changes we've managed to do in the current cycle, which, we had, uh, which was already there. But the BCCI has now uh, negotiated the FTP cycle. The FTP is the future tours program of the Indian team from 2019 to 2023. And every uh, tour, w this uh, issue will be addressed. It's already been addressed. And uh, the other thing that we are moving towards is for the first time, five years in advance, you will know, have a day-wise calendar, a day-date-wise calendar of the Indian team's program. So you will know exactly where over the next five years you're playing. Nice. So f we will, as media people, not have to complain and keep questioning about was that time of preparation enough in South Africa? The could have been question will finally be out of the window. Good stuff. Ajinkya? 55 plus average overseas. When, when I compare your performances overseas with your performances at home, what happens to you overseas? New Ajinkya Rahane comes into being every day? When you go out there and perform at Johannesburg, nasty test wicket. And I remember you telling me soon after, Indians did not want to leave the field, South Africans did. What happens? People thought we were chicken hearted. We were lion hearted in the lion's den. Oh, I, uh, first of all, I love facing challenges and you, you, we all know that when we go abroad, uh, places like New Zealand, England, Australia, and South Africa, they, the teams, they will come hard at us. And it is, it is a challenge for each and every individual to do well. But this Indian team, uh, what we discussed, that wherever we go, we will think and we will play like it's our home turf. And that's what we were doing in South Africa. Yes, uh, Johannesburg wicket was uh, uh, slightly dangerous, but for me, it was an opportunity to become a hero. Uh, because I didn't play first two test matches and I was motivated, I was, I was disciplined and I was uh, really uh, working hard on my batting and uh, when I got to know that I'm playing this test match, uh, for me it was an opportunity to become a hero and that's what I did and uh, I'm, I'm really happy that I contributed uh, towards our winning success. Twice he you said... Know, you know, Bore, I'll just, I'll just add something to what Ajinkya has said because I batted at number five both home and away, and he does the same thing. And I don't know whether he'll agree or not, 
batting at number 5 and number 6 in india is the toughest thing because the ball gets old uh, it gets soft and by the time you get to 5 and 6 and i did after it was sehwag dravid tendulkar and then my turn came so by the time i it came there were deep points long offs deep square legs third man so good shots would actually go for a single and the same thing when you went overseas the way he went out to bat in the johannesburg test match he had three slips a gully and he would hit the ball and it would go to the boundary the, the value for runs was a lot more so batting in india with the reverse swing with that old ball on those pitches which don't bounce is a lot difficult than batting at number 5 in in england the knock he played at lords we were there and i was there commentating it was one of the best i've seen for a long time and i think it's the conditions which make you feel better and it's it's a mental mental game you know that's why i used to tell rahul once in a while jam i'm getting too much 40s 50s can you bat at 5 and i bat at 3 because i want that hard ball when you hit and it goes for four so these these situations are different when when you're batting at 5 and when you're batting in india and away okay let me tell you sir i've said uh, the thing about rahul dravid batting at 3 and 5 viren the sevag this is typical viren the sevag i went and asked viren the sevag about sir of getting viren the sevag to open i'll come to you prithvi in a second and i tell him you know viru So Saurav got you to open transformation in Indian cricket, and he says, "Arey, Dada, hold on, hold on." I said, "Kya hua?" He said, "I thought to myself, Saurav and Sachin have scored so many hundreds at the top of the order in one-day cricket. Why don't they open in Test matches and allow me to bat five? So that's within the sevag for you, but that didn't happen, and thankfully didn't happen, and changed the face of Indian cricket. Prithvi Shaw, at 14." Did you think at 17, 18, you will share the stage with Rahul Jhori, Ajinkya Rahane, Saurav Ganguly in this August gathering of the India Today conclave with so much of spotlight? And have you changed after the World Cup win? Uh, not really. Actually, I thought when I was 14 years old, uh, but I really wanted to be in a, in the Indian side. Obviously, I was uh, looking for. you know like under 19 state level then the india i was thinking i was not thinking directly for the india thing obviously there was uh, lots of steps uh, ahead you know the under 16 state then you have to score there but obviously i'm i think i'm feeling very proud sitting you know beside all seniors over here and uh, i think after world cup uh, some things have been changed but uh, i think it's a lot more to come in the career and uh, just to achieve all those things really need to work hard for it let me ask you a follow up before i go to rahul and saurav and ajinkya again for a virat kohli under 19 world cup winning captain there is an unmukh chand skies and not fulfilling potential does that add to pressure do you feel pressure uh think uh there's no pressure i think it's all about uh how much you enjoy the game and uh, when you're scoring runs obviously you go ahead and i think some players take time to reach there where you know virat sir obviously after playing the world cup he was picked for the indian team i think some players take time for it you know uh, something happens something goes wrong but i think it's all if you see cricket uh, everyone says it's a funny game you know sometimes it goes up sometimes it takes down so i think it's the matter of patience how much you can uh, uh, you know give to your cricket and uh, i think that when the uh, time comes i think you'll get in rahul to you there is a lot of talk in social media about central contracts which have been announced a couple of days back and there is also a lot of talk about people saying that for for male cricketers the top category is 7 plus crores and for women it's 50 lakhs is it still discriminatory is it still example of gender bias or is it the fact that from 15 lakhs it has gone up to 50 lakhs and progressively it will change what is the answer you see uh, of course the indian cricket team is the best in the world and we are the, uh, proud that we are best in the world in all formats whether it's the indian cricket team the women reached the finals the under 19 won the world cup so we have to give them the best infrastructure like i said and the best support so what uh, the important thing that you have to see in the central contracts that got announced recently was the focus on domestic cricket because that is the bedrock of indian cricket and if you see till now a domestic cricketer who used to play used to make, get his actual compensation after one and a half years the bcci accounts would be finalized the agm will happen next year in april after that the amount would be calculated what has been done now is the match fees 
for domestic cricketers per day has been raised from 10,000 rupees to 35,000 rupees per day. And they don't have to wait one and a half years. They get the match fee immediately after paying. After playing the game, Saurav is a great proponent of that. I got the, you know, he's been pushing really for it. And um, so the domestic cricketer does not have to wait. His earnings are not dependent on the number of games Team India plays in India. It's all guaranteed. He gets it immediately after his game. And that is where the change will come. Nice. Yeah, and I think that's, that's very commendable from, uh, from Rahul and, and, and the board. Because, as he said, I've been harping on it for the last one, one and a half year uh, to increase the money for first class players. It's increased from, uh, from as Rahul said, from 10,000 a day to 35,000 a day. I would still request him to increase it a bit more. Because it's the first class players. A lot of them will not become Ajinkya Rahanes and Virat Kohli's. A lot of them will have the IPL contracts, which they deservedly have. You know, it's not that they just get it for free, they deservedly have. So I think that increase needs to be a little more because, you know, you want to be, you want a first class player because jobs are not very easy at the modern day because, you know, times have changed. When I started, Tata's would give me a job and I wouldn't turn up in office for 10 years. And, and it's, not, it's, it's not the same now, you know, you'll have to go and work because the culture has changed and maybe it could be a bit more. I'll push him for one more season when I meet him again and hopefully I can get it a bit more for the first class players. Fabulous. Ajinkya, now Vice-Captain Ajinkya Rahane, I mean, we all know Virat Kohli, passionate, animated, jumping up and about. Do you at times feel that you need to calm him down? You calm him down a little bit. Second part of the question, what we've seen with David Warner and Quinton de Kock went out of hand. How much sledging was there when you were playing in South Africa and were you giving it back as well? Firstly, I think what I feel about Virat is... Uh Aggression actually gets the best out of him and we don't want to change anything about his aggression and his approach about uh, while batting or while we are fielding. But what happened in uh, South Africa recently, when we were playing, I think South Africans were uh, slightly, I mean, they, they were really quiet. I mean, there's no sledging going on. There was no sledging going on and it was all about, I mean, they came hard at us uh, with their bowling plans, but... Uh, there were no words exchanged between, be, between any of us. So, but what happened in uh, South Africa against Australia now, what I believe is whatever happens on the field should stay on the field. Right. You, know, you know, I'll come to that. And I, and I watch I, I watched cricket very closely. I saw Kangiso Rabada bowling at 140-145. He gets an outside edge to an Indian batsman. He smiles at him. And, and I've played in the era of Glenn McGrath. You know, he got an outside edge, he would actually send you off to the pavilion. So I see a change in, in the way the players go around these days. Yes, Warner and, and Decock are one incidence which I think should be put behind and, and not too much to be looked into because tensions do flare at, at high pressure level. But uh, players' behaviors have changed over One the minute, years. one minute. Saurav Ganguly says Glenn McGrath would give a send off. And what would he do? Saurav, did you make Steve Waugh wait for the toss consciously, now that you've written about it? So it was a conscious thing, right? Saurav Ganguly deliberately, to get under the skin of Steve Waugh, made Steve Waugh wait. Yes, no? Yeah, but they're two different things. One is a send-off with the mouth, and one is a quiet wait at the toss. So they're two different things. So 30 minutes wait is... No, no, it wasn't 30 minutes wait here. 9 o'clock, the toss is supposed to happen. 9.30, test match start. How can I make him wait for 30 so how minutes? Much, how long See, this is where a journalist comes in. See, 9 o'clock, the whole test match stars, Ajinkya will know. And how can I wait, make him wait for 30? Maybe 30 seconds, that's the, that's the right time. Now, there, there, there comes the captain, so you can't debate much with him. But, okay, you did... So you at least concede that you made Steve Waugh wait at the toss. So I've, I've won one, one with you, okay? Now, second, you have written in your book, published recently, that you saw the Indians give it back. Can you tell me, was it chirp? Was it, what, what when, when you say Indians were giving it back to the Australians, what do you mean? Means you compete, you know, uh, you know, it's not that when you, you take guard to Shane Warne and, and Glenn McGrath, they don't let you bat in peace. You know, they'll get, they were so good also, that when it went past the outside edge, they make you, made you feel that your time at the crease was numbered. I don't know how, what is it with the modern day cricketers these days. So, uh, either you reacted to it, and competed or you made them feel that we are going to bulldoze this side. 
So I've actually seen somebody like Harbhajan or Viru and even Sachin standing at mid-on react and put pressure back on the opposition. When you sledge, it's not that you call names. You know, you find different ways to put pressure. Maybe somebody's not scoring runs, you make him feel that, you know, it's only a matter of time. Maybe you, you're scared of the short ball, you feel that, you know, it's coming at you. Maybe your feet not moving. You keep putting all these things in the mind of a batsman because a batsman has got one delivery. Prithvi Shaw, do you sledge? Uh, don't ask at him 19? that. Don't ask Prithvi Shaw whether he sledges I've or not. I've got to ask you, at nine, was there sledging on in the Under-19 World Cup? No, no sledgings. Come on, that's not true. <laughs> Can't be. At Under-19, how many of us abused or sledged in college? All of us did. Prithvi Shaw, you're an exception. Having said that, Virat Kohli's style of captaincy, Ajinkya Rahane's style of captaincy. What do you, what do you prefer? Tough question. Tell me. Virat Kohli's style of captaincy, as a captain, Ajinkya Rahane's style of captaincy, or a mesh of both, or a sort of Ganguly style of captaincy for that matter. What do you want? Uh, if you're saying like this, everyone has their own style, so… Nice. <laughs> nice. Sort of, you actually believe this team… Rahul, the same question will come to you. Actually believe this team has the ability to win in England? Oh, of course. Absolutely. They have the attack to pick 20 wickets. Indian, as I said, Indian cricket always had, has had batsmen who will put 400 runs on the board. And the difference is when they put 400 runs on the board, you had bowlers to pick 20 wickets. In South Africa, uh, the wicket at Wanderers did a bit, a bit too much. You won't get those sort of pitches very often in test cricket. But even in the first two, first two test matches, which were good pitches, I think the bowlers bowled exceptionally well. You've got Bhuvaneshwar Kumar, Bumrah. Uh, Mohammad Chami who's sitting out and then there is Ishan Sharma who's got better. The wrist spinners have come in who will put a lot of pressure on the batsmen in the, in, the, in the future toes. So they have the attack, have the attack. And the best thing Anil Kumble said when he was at his best as a spinner, he said, you give me 450 runs on the board in the first innings of a test match and I'll win you test matches. This team has the batting, the quality with Rahane and Kohli and, and the rest and they have the bowling too. And, and as, as, as you said at the start to Rahul, the key is how quickly they get on at the start of the tour. You know, 10 days, 14 days, because that's very important. What they do after the first test match, how many warm-up games they play doesn't matter because then you're used to these conditions. You saw in South Africa, as time went on, they got better and they've got all the qualities to win overseas. As an administrator, I mean, in, against the background of the Lodha reforms and what we are seeing, constant fights between the COA and the office bearers, does it make you feel proud that what matters? I mean, in my book, the ultimate stakeholders of Indian cricket are these players and you, the fans. The support cast are the administrators. So does it make you feel proud that as an administrator, the game, ultimately with the players, sponsors, are in safe hands? Well, you know, whatever you hear, uh that's all noise. That's not our job. Our job is to ensure that the cricketing activity uh, continues at its best. And like I said, India reached the Champions Trophy final. The women's reached the Women's World Cup final. The Under-19 won the Under-19 World Cup. We are the number one team in every format of the game. We do 1,000 domestic games. Every game starts at 9 a.m. You know, there are four and a half thousand people, players, match officials, etc., moving all over the place. So the cricketing activity is going to perfection and that is what is important. Our domestic structure is remarkable. You know, I deal with the domestic structure as being president of CAB. The amount of, uh, you know, uh, closely it's monitored and I'm sure Rahul plays a part. There are people who actually work on the field, whether it's in Mumbai, Bengal, it's remarkable. I think that's one of the reasons why these boys are so good. It's your domestic structure, it's your IPL. You know, these two actually have made Indian cricket very, very strong. Ajinkya, 5-1 in South Africa in the one days, 2-1 in the T20s, yes, but 1-2 in the test matches. England and Australia coming up. Is that the, the real goal for this team now? 1-1-1, one, 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 winning overseas, winning in test match cricket, and do you believe you have the team to do so? Definitely, we all, we all do believe that we, we have the team that, that can do well uh, in South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, and England. It is important to start well, as uh, Saurav had mentioned, that start of the series, uh, first match, and your preparations are really important, uh, and your momentum actually comes from there. So we, we all believe that we have, we have the right combination, and kind of bowling attack we have. If you, uh, I think 60 wickets in South Africa was uh, unbelievable. Uh, the way our fast bowlers and spinners, uh, they all bowled. So 
Yes, uh, we all believe in ourselves, and it is important to start each and every series on a high and carry that momentum forward. Okay, my timer is going, and we are really, really up for it today, so we've got to keep to time. One question. There's a gentleman there, his hand is up. Can I have a microphone there, please? One question. There, yeah. That's the one I'll take before I sure. take closing comments. Hi, uh, Saurav sir, my question is that you have mentioned a few days मोहम्मद शमी साहब का जिक्र किया तो पिछले दिनों बहुत सारी खबरें आई कि पासवर्ड जा रहे हैं ये जा रहे हैं वो जा रहे हैं आपके घर में भी कभी ऐसा हुआ कि आपका पासवर्ड डोना मैम के पास हो <laughs> यार ये मैं आंसर नहीं कर सकता क्योंकि मुझे पता नहीं है क्या हुआ है क्या नहीं हो रहा है आई डोंट थिंक वी शुड इवन टॉक अबाउट इट बिकॉज इट्स इज पर्सनल थिंग यू नो वी शुड लुक एट इज क्रिकेट एंड दैट्स वॉट वी आर हेयर फॉर मोहम्मद शमी इज क्रिकेट एंड नथिंग एल्स थैंक यू सर ओके In 2001, the series that Saurav won against Australia, the Test match in Calcutta had just gotten done, and one of the umpires, umpire Bansal, was going back to his hotel. So his car enters this one-way street in Calcutta, and a cop stops the driver. The driver gets out of the car in a very painful kind of face, looks at umpire Bansal, and says, "Can you please help me bail me out of this situation?" Umpire Bansal gets out of the car and requests the cop. But before even he says something, the cop looks at him and says, "Are you the umpire who gave Glen McGrath out?" And he says, "Yes." He said, "In Calcutta, there are no no entries for you tonight. Please go." <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's why this game is a religion in this country. That's why Rahul Jhori gets sixteen thousand. 16500 crores that's why we eulogize saurav ganguly ajinkya rahane and maybe some years down the line prithvi show closing comment saurav ganguly one comment that will get you to watch virat kohli time and again oh why just virat kohli all of them when i was in new zealand for the under 19s i saw prithvi show it's it's the passion of the game in this country you know it's it's the want of these boys to succeed because they know what it is at that level and this game will always be very strong in this country because when you go around this country you know you see young boys you know you go going on a bike with their parents with the cricket bat and the kit bag at the back so that's the reason why this country is so successful in this sport i think yeah one thing that you still aspire to as an indian cricketer is it the 2019 world cup or a series win in england and australia i think uh, personally i my goal is to do well in each and every series but yes we all are thinking about 2019 world cup and preparation has already started rahul as the administrative head of the bcci what is the one thing that you want corrected in the organization or want to improve i think uh, you know the noise has to settle down so that uh, indian from the administrative point of view the uh, cricket is smooth or the instructions are smooth otherwise indian cricket is doing quite well finally i i deliberately did it junior most person in the panel perhaps 20 more years of cricket left prithvi show aspiration under 19 done as the senior cricketer maybe in the senior team 8 years down the line 2023 world cup is in india you aspire to hold that trophy is that the goal uh that's not the goal i think i just want to work hard and uh, let's see what happens till then but obviously uh, we have lifted the under 19 world cup uh, and also i want to lift the senior world cup as well so working hard for it whatever it is this game remains religion whatever it is these people give us enormous joy amidst all the problems that we have in our daily lives put your hands together for saurav ganguly ajinkya rahane rahul jhori and prithvi shaw